We're packing cool kids. It's your boy CJ So Cool. And guess what? I'm back with another reaction. This time, I went back to my homie Swoozy's channel. I haven't did a reaction from one of his videos in months. And I mean months um, with an S at the back of that. But I'm back. And he got a video called Sex in Movies. Sex in Movies. That's all I needed to read to say, you know what? I got to watch the video. Leo! There's an unavoidable situation that I know all of you have experienced. You're watching TV with your parents, and oh, then all shit. of a sudden, <laughs> I hate that. There's no running from it. There's no avoiding it. That's how I know it's happened to you because you could be sitting there watching anything. Like, I'll, I'll tiptoe into the room and check. I'm like, uh, look at the screen. Okay, Wheel of Fortune. All right, this is safe. Guy on the screen is like, yes, Ben, I'd like to solve the puzzle. It takes one to. Like, how is this happening? What the? Vanna, I thought you guys were just friends. And it's like, you know, some parents might fumble with the remote, like, oh, I gotta change this. Not my parents. My parents would just sit there, like, do like TV networks watch their charts? Like, yes, most kids from ages 8 to 14 are watching television with their parents between the hours of 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. So around 7 30, you know what to do, gentlemen. You know what to do. There. So then we're there watching Spongebob with our parents and then all of a sudden we interrupt this broadcast to switch you over to our competitor and thrust you right into the middle of a Fifty Shades of Grey marathon. Oh Already in progress. <laughs> and they even ambush you in the movie theater. I took my little cousin to see some action movie and all of a sudden on screen. <laughs> it was so uncomfortable even being the older person with little kids around. In my peripheral, I just see him turn his head and all I see are these big old eyes like, Why What's would you do this to me? Because <laughs> while it's happening, there's nothing to do but just sit there and be uncomfortable. You can have love scenes in your movies without making it uncomfortable. For example, the top two grossing films of all time at the moment, Avatar and Titanic. Both movies had main characters that, you know, did the deed, yeah. but it wasn't graphic and it wasn't uncomfortable. You don't gotta Wait, get all crazy. Is like, it hot sex. to sit in a room with 200 other people and watch graphic portrayals of this stuff with next to strangers? <laughs> That's not my idea of hot. In the screenwriting world, they have a thing that they call a dead scene, where nothing happens. Action for no reason, you know, car chases for no reason. There's no True. character development. I think Lion King has a really good example of pushing the story forward with action, like the stampede scene. People die, the story advances. And something else I don't understand, the girl gets all naked, her butt is up in the air, her boobs <laughs> are flying everywhere. She's like naked upside down on the ceiling doing splits. And as soon as the scene what is done, she like, Pulls the covers up to her chin like it's a turtleneck. You guys ever really? notice that? Yeah. Is that Over like a dollar. sag thing? Because I have no idea what's going on with that. <laughs> to be honest, whether you know it or not, we go to the movies to feel. You see everybody going crazy about the new Star Wars coming out. Like, they get all crazy like that because they're getting the feels. So when you mm. leave the theater and you just want to, ooh, I want to race Vin <laughs> Diesel. And you pull up to the red True. light in front of the theater and look over and be like, you want to go, Gramps? You want to go? <laughs> Me, you, next light. We're racing for pinks. Ready? <laughs> a good movie will make you feel. Hollywood executives, producers, writers, directors, you can get your point across in the love scenes without making us feel uncomfortable in a room surrounded by 300 other people True. or traumatizing us in a room with our parents. Just saying. <laughs> that was good. He is actually telling the truth right there. I can remember watching uh, movies, which he actually named Titanic. I saw um jack and rose actually having sex he drew her butt naked that it just made me excited as a kid but if i watched that next to my grandma i would have been uncomfortable like um should we turn now you know like, i don't know turn the volume down at least <laughs> like this is weird it's getting uncomfortable as hell i mean uh, at the time no one even knew about uh, erections or anything like that we didn't know about sex so we had no idea but imagine if you could get an erection as a kid and you watch some movie with your parents and then you did and then your parent put you on blast like, oh, what the fuck is you doing? What's wrong with you? You know, you'd be all like, oh, I'm sorry. It wasn't me. It was this weird ass movie you got me watching. But anyway, Suzy definitely has a point. I agree with you 100% of the way. Um, I don't know what took me so long to come back to your channel. You got the dope videos, bro. The dope, dope animations. I love that shit. Anyway, I got one more video that I'm reacting to from his channel. So stay tuned. Peace.